Well, here it is. Tokyo. I can't believe it. Uh, the more I was thinking about it on the way over here, which, by the way, it was almost like close to 13, 14 hours uh, being trapped inside a sardine box. Hello. Um, I can't believe that we're actually here. Uh, God's opened up an amazing door for School of Practical Ministry to be here. And I actually, I'm a little bummed out that not everybody can be experiencing this right now. Um, but here I am. Uh, first night, this is the hotel room. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. That's pretty much it. I'll give you a quick little tour. Uh, here is the outside window. I was going to raise it up and show you outside, but uh, there's condensation all over the window and you can't see out. Uh, and there's basically a 13-story car park garage across the street. Not very attractive. Uh, there are the beds. Uh, yours truly. And the bathroom. And the door that you come in. Not real fancy, uh, but completely and totally safe. As you can see, I'm still alive. Uh, yeah. A lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I know this is like the first blog. I thought it'd be cool to take you guys on the trip as much as I could uh, while I'm here. And they've got cool little things. Like uh, like everything is in Japanese. Like here is the cool little, uh, oh, what is it? Like the little exit route in case if there's like a massive emergency or something. And uh, yeah, well, everything else is pretty much boring. Uh, I can give you a shot of some TV here. One second. That's loud. A little Japanese TV. Let's see if I can see if I can find a good show with lots of oh nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Lots of Japanese. Oh, you can't even see it. How about that right there? Very nice. Okay, very exciting. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, my intention, hopefully, is is to be able to share with you guys all the cool stuff, like as it happens with what's going on. So today, I'm in Tokyo. Uh, actually, that's a little bit a little misleading because uh, when I got in, uh, Tokyo is apparently an hour and a half, or an hour and twenty minutes by train ride, um, and then I rode an hour by bus, thinking I would be totally closer. Um, I had been, I had some information that might be like 15, 20 minutes away, that by the time I got here, the fast trains had stopped running, uh, and the only train that would get me there was like, it would take 45 minutes to get into town because it makes like three trillion stops, um, and I was only an hour away from the last train running, so it just wasn't working out. So anyway, I know it wasn't a surprise to God, and I'm, yeah, whatever, there'll be plenty of other times, hopefully, to be able to get back into the city and see it because I hear it's amazing. <clears throat> so anyway, that's not why I'm here. Uh, today, in about two hours, I am going to be leaving for Okinawa. It's about a two and a half hour flight, I think. Um, and then we get started. I have this afternoon free. Uh, I'll be taking some pictures. I don't know if I'll be able to get those pictures on because I didn't bring a cable. But anyway, um, then starting Sunday, man, we get this party started. I uh, got a youth group, and then all next week, um, I have the privilege to be able to share at a uh, at a at a staff retreat of a good friend of mine there in Okinawa. So um, anyway, uh, I covet your all's prayers and ask that you would continue to to uh, intercede for what God's doing through Harbor House. Uh, and with all the students at School of Practical Ministry, man, I wish I could be there with you guys next week whenever you uh, rock out on the 18th. All right, so anyway, Kami, Liam Haven Gavin, the girls, mom, dad, Craig, Amy, uh, Chris and Stacy, all the students there at the school, Jordan and Jolice and Wu-Tang, and Jim and Kristen and Nathan and Sarah. Uh, love you guys, and... Yeah, so here's part one.